Honor Club, where honor is real. He is the soon-to-be two-time Ring of Honor World Champion, and he is I, and I am him, and I am Matt Taven. In Honor Nation, you are about to watch a turning point of my career. My very first night under a Ring of Honor contract, my first title win in Ring of Honor, and the first time I ever used the Climax, and you can tell because the Melvin on commentary, his beans get blown right off. He doesn't know what to call it. And, and to think, I almost missed my flight to this match, but that's a, a whole nother story. Honor Nation, enjoy Honor Month. I'm Matt Taven. Oh, Whoa. wait a minute, almost a collision in the oh, oh my gosh! Todd Sinclair just got decapitated inadvertently by Matt Taven. Pants is down, pants is down. Hold it, hey, Martini hey. just threw the boot. He just took his boot off and threw it to TD. And TD throws it right back. Truth insisting that TD use the boot. Thomas is too honorable. He won't take the boot. He won't take the help of Truth Martini. Sinclair is down. Wait a minute. Taven sees the boot. Taven sees the boot of Truth. Taking opportunity when it strikes. Trying to win this match. Wastelock go behind. Oh! Book of Truth right into the skull. The Bible of Bullcrap just knocked his clock off. One! You gotta be kidding two, me! Three! Matt Taven is our top prospect! The winner of the match in the top prospect tournament, Matt Taven! What in the world just happened? Truth Martini influencing the outcome of the top prospect, and it looked like he was helping to Darius Thomas. I don't think he's what Truth Martini is all about. Wait a minute, what the hell is he saying? Hoopla. He's saying a lot more than hoopla, Caleb. Look. What's he saying? Look at Taven's face. Is he believing the line that Truth is selling him? Look at this. Matt Taven has just made a deal with the devil. It's very arousing how things just happen to fall into place. When Matt Taven took it upon himself and took advantage of an opportunity, I knew right then and there that he has it. He has the hoopla running through his veins. Matt Taven led by Truth Martini. <laughs> We're a match made in heaven. Or hell. The HOT, we are too hot for TV. And as I stand before you, with my book in my hand and my shiny big balls in the other, I say to you this. Ladies, gentlemen, hoopla hotties, hell, everybody, sit back and relax and take your pants off because it is time to get off. <laughs> Welcome to the 11th anniversary, your point very well taken. All right, well, we're going to try and see if we can get some more audio level. Let's go to Bobby Cruz. Oh, excuse me, not yet. Let's as go to something else besides what Oh, my God. Win. Well, as this is a title match, what in the world is Truth Martini wearing, or not wearing? So, uh, Kevin, I just want to make a point. I know Matt Taven, very talented athlete. He won the top prospect tournament. Did you notice that Truth actually cheated and allowed him to win that tournament, yet he's still in this match when Nigel said, because I cheated, I didn't get a match. Why is that? Well, because the television championship matchup was already signed for the top prospect winner, regardless of how he won. Let's go to Bobby Cruz for the introductions. Following contest is scheduled for one ball with a 15-minute time limit, and it is for the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Introducing first to my right, he's accompanied by Truth Martini. 
wrestling out of Los Angeles, California, weighing 212 pounds, Matt Taven. He's opponent to my left, wrestling out of Panama City, Florida, weighing 205 pounds, he is the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Adam Cole. So Cole defends the television title. Let's go to the tail of the tape if we can before this championship contest gets underway. Todd Sinclair presenting the title. Adam Cole against Matt Taven with Truth Martini. Taven, the newest member of the HOT. You know, Kevin, but the point I was making earlier, you don't see Nigel's prejudice towards Matt Hardy. Well, I, I understand you're making a point. I understand that you're making a point, Matt, and, it, and it's a fair one, but again, how Taven won the tournament didn't predicate on whether or not he got this title opportunity. As we take a look at the tail of the tape, they both made their pro debut at the same time. The height edge for Taven, but the experience factor and walking in as the champion certainly favors Adam Cole. But of course, Matt, a lot of the point that you've made and you've made recently, you feel though you defeated Adam Cole at final battle. Yes. And you feel like you deserve that television title shot. You were given the match against Nigel McGuinness, or excuse me, by Nigel McGuinness. You were given the match. Absolutely, I mean, I really feel like I am the official television champion. I mean, I beat him at final battle, one, two, three, right in the middle, small package. You know, yet I had to jump through hoops, I had to overcome obstacles, and that's okay. I overcome the odds, that's the story of my life. So Adam Cole here, taking on Taven. You know, and, and I'm gonna say, Adam Cole's good. I mean, to be able to, to be in the ring with me and have a competitive match, you've gotta be talented. He's a good kid. And uh, I'm here to see him have one last night of victory before it all comes coming down, Kevin, because now that all this has been built up inside me, when I get him in the ring, I am going to destroy Adam Cole. Well, that matchup will take place, all part of the national television taping, tomorrow afternoon here in Chicago. Ridge. Guys, are we forgetting something? The, the, the other man in the ring, that's Matt Taven, the man who is competing against Adam Cole right now, one of the breakout stars of the last couple of years in professional wrestling is Matt Taven, especially in Ring of Honor, new, now the new top prospect tournament and the number one contender for that belt right now. Matt Taven could easily walk out of the 11th anniversary with the championship, well, Matt when you've, got, when you've got Truth Martini in your corner with Martini's pedigree of what he's led, Roderick Strong, the break to Michael Elgin, and now Matt Taven. But of course, Adam Cole, ooh, Taven walked right into the inverted atomic drop there. Neck breaker and Cole drives him down hard. Ca even casting a glance right down here toward you, Matt. Yeah, he's uh, trying to come up with that attitude. I saw his little promo, how he's uh, mad. It's a brand new side of Adam Cole. Well, good, he's gonna need that. Martini talking about hoopla, and Taven just sends Cole down to the floor. Yeah, yeah, I thought that. You, you did make a good point. Matt Taven is talented, but you know, this whole thing, this whole situation, it's almost like the, the you know, it's, it's like the food chain. You know, Matt Taven, he's an amoeba. Adam Cole's a fish, and I'm the great white shark. Well, Adam Cole just scored with the Inziguri, and now... Truth Martini was the one that was over there, cause of the distraction. Now this time, Truth! Truth Martini just pulled Adam Cole down. Taven's able to capitalize. If Adam Cole can't get focused in on what he has to do here with Matt Taven, he is in serious trouble with me. I mean, he has no chance to be in two minutes with me. Let's tell what's going on. Well, what's different about Adam Cole now since your matchup at Final Battle? It seemed as if, if Adam Cole was missing one thing, Matt, it's the fact that he might have lacked some of that championship toughness. Maybe you just brought that out of him. I did. I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the credit. I'm making Adam Cole into a man. Oh, wait a minute now. Martini in hasty retreat. Adam Cole, if he snatches up, oh, wait a minute, he never saw Matt Taven. Once again, he's not focused. I, 
think you see a huge Polly join on them. Take your pants. All right, that's enough out of you. I think you see the huge difference the Chief Martini is making for Matt Taven as well. You know, Matt Taven's got a lot of talent, a, lot, a, a huge prospect going forward in the Ring of Honor, but Truth Martini is really adding a lot to him right here. Well, Martini paid dividends, of course, for Roderick Strong. Ever the bride's maid became the bride once he aligned himself with Martini. And look at Unbreakable Michael Elgin. Basically, out of obscurity, became one of the hottest rising stars in ROH while a part of the House of Truth. And now with David, who knows what the HOT can do. Backbreaker, outside leg hook, TV champ kicks out. And you can even see a little bit of the hoopla over the last couple weeks have rubbed off on Matt Taven. He's traded in that flashy color scheme that he had on his tights, something that he was very recognizable for, trading it in for black and gray. Well, certainly it's a different demeanor, I think, yeah. for Taven as well, but is it enough here to secure the television title? Easier said than done. He's got the suplex. Very nicely done. No denying the athleticism, Matt, though, of Matt Taven. Not at all. And also, Adam Cole is a very, very tough guy. I mean, I've been in the ring with him. I gave him five side effects during the course of the match. And he Great move. Great move indeed, and a near fall. And you know, I'm not going to take that toughness away from him, but these emotions he's experiencing for the very first time, I mean, he is a child. I have had 20 years of experience in this business. He's been here for five minutes, and I am going to take him to school, especially now that the television title's on the line and Matt Hardy can become the new Ring of Honor champion. Watch out now for Truth Martini, exerting his influence once again. It's gonna take a lot. Adam Cole's resilient. Like I said, I can tell you that from experience, from being in the ring with him. But once again, both of you guys are talented. Neither one of them are on the same plane as Adam Cole. Cole just rocks Taven. Form smashes. Here comes the television champion now. He's kicking it into another gear. Take out that frustration, Cole. Take it out. Well, that great. Television title match forthcoming. Adam Cole and Matt Hardy, wait a minute, two. Of course, he's got to get past Matt Taven here. Near fall score. You gotta ask yourself. Wait a minute, look at this now. What do you have to ask yourself? What if Matt Hardy, what if Matt Taven defeats Adam Cole for the TV title? It could change everything. I mean, Adam Cole, he's so talented, he's so good. One of the few people that can beat him in the Ring of Honor is me. So, you know, I'm out here to watch him have one last night of victory before I end. I just, it, it's not gonna happen. Taven now. Sam and Cole back first. Matt, how much does it bother you that you apparently believe that Nigel McGinnis has no respect for you at all after everything that you've accomplished in your career? It bothers me a lot after all the sacrifice you've made for this business. Ooh all the contributions I've given to this business. And for Nigel McGinnis to, to treat me like this, like he's the king and I'm a peasant, very disrespectful. And I can promise you, Kevin, Nigel's day's coming. Series of knockdowns there from Adam Cole, television champion now. Cook, every time Taven has put some offense together, Cole has had the response. Of course, it was last year at the 10th anniversary, Adam Cole got the biggest win of his young career. Paul victory in the tag team main event over Davey Richards. Up on the shoulders now. Backbreaker. Something to think about there, Matt. Your fall. And you would say, when you say that about Nigel too, Kevin, I just want to point out that I came here to Ring of Honor only to help Ring of Honor, to make it bigger, to grow the brand. Nigel McGinnis is really hurting my faith in Ring of Honor. I don't appreciate his lack of respect for me. Well, I think Nigel's whole point, Matt, is that he wants to see matches won with honor. I think that's what he wants to see. Does he want matches won with honor, or does he want more people? Does he want the product known better? Ooh, what is he drop kick out of midair. Oh, no. Taven kicks out. Well, you make a fair point. Of course, Nigel does want. He always got to find a way as a matchmaker to balance what's best for business and what's also best for the spirit of competition in ROH. But I think he's trying to find that middle ground. It's never an easy decision to make, and you, quite frankly, sir, have made it difficult. I think he's been biased, no doubt. I think Nigel is racist towards Matt. What? Now, wait a minute now. You can't make those claims. 
Here we go again. Suplex to go. Taven spins his way out. Oh, man, what a neck breaker. Cover. Two. Yeah. I'll be honest with you uh, guys. This is uh, We're seeing a lot more from Matt Taven than I expected to see. He's, uh, he's giving uh, Adam Cole a hell of a match right now. A lot of people said going in that, of course, Taven, the real prize that he won was winning the top prospect tournament. The idea that he could come in and defeat Adam Cole would be quite a surprise, and especially with your matchup forthcoming, already scheduled for the television taping tomorrow afternoon here at Chicago Ridge. Yeah, absolutely. He's really, uh, you know, probably trying to make a statement, saying, hey, don't look past me, even though everyone is looking past him. And this match is an afterthought in the big scheme of things, you know, because uh, box office is Adam Cole versus Matt Hardy, and that's going down tomorrow. So now, superplex attempt here. Adam Cole puts the brakes on it, though. Cole's found a way to out of Oh, man! Wow! Taven just went head first into the canvas. Police German suplex. Shining Wizard, leg is hooked. Two. Wow, Taven kicked out of that. I don't believe it. I would never allow Adam Cole to do that to me. This is what makes Adam Cole dangerous. And I'll tell you, Kevin, I, I look at him, I like this little attitude. I like this demeanor. He's finally growing up, he's becoming a man. And I feel like I played a big role in that. Adam Cole now exposing the knee. Knock Taven out. Look to deliver another shining wizard. Wait a minute. Roll through. Two. This Matt Taven is truly resilient. Adam. Drew Bartini, of course, on the outside of the ring. Even though Adam Cole does have this new demeanor, he brought out a brand new side of him, I don't think he knows how to control it. I don't think he knows how to challenge it, Kevin. I can see some mistakes he's making. Many mistakes have happened. Taven's been there to answer them. Taven sending Cole. Wait a minute, reversal. Oh, wait a minute, Taven's knee buckled there. Oh, oh my God, DDT on the ring frame. Wow. That's what Ring of Honor is about. That is what Ring of Honor is about. Well, now the important part, rolling back in, get the three count. Taven's knee buckled. That allowed Cole the opportunity to deliver that DDT. But now he's got to put Taven away. Nobody home with the splash. You know, keep in mind, the more damage, the longer this match goes on, the more damage Adam Cole does to himself. That's just going to make my job all the easier tomorrow. Oh, another neck breaker. Backfired on Taven. Here's the cover. No. And Taven kicks out again. Now we're going to the figure four. I'll be honest with you, too. Adam Cole's figure four is very painful. It's as painful as the one Rick Flair did. Everyone knows he's the master, but Adam Cole has really got this down to a science. Because I, uh, I lived and survived in this during final battle, and it was painful. Can Taven get to the ropes? Truth Martini trying to direct him, and he does. Gets to the bottom rope, forces the break. Cole will have to let go of the hold before Taven could tap out. Nature Boy Ric Flair put Ricky the Dragon Steembo in that very same hold in this same city almost 30 years ago. Matt Taven able to get out of that. Figure four leg lock, keep this match going. Here we go again, second time, no. Taven sends him off, oh, Truth Martini, good for you, that's what you deserve. Oh, a roll. Shoulders down. Waistlock go behind from Cole, trying to forward a key. Standing switch by Taven. Another Enziguri connects. Oh! oh! You can hear it echoing across the arena. There's where Truth Martini pays those dividends. The book of Truth right across the spine. Oh, man! Modified DDT! Modified One, DDT! Two! What an instant. He got it! Oh, my God! We got a new champion! Upsets in Ring of Honor history. Taven is the new champ. With us, not me and Adam. Matt Taven. Caleb, we gotta take another look. Look at this. 
Yes, a modified, a modified version of the Moonlight Drive. Spiking Adam Cole's skull right into the canvas. One, two, three. Matt Taven's the champ. Matt. Matt, I, I, I understand. Listen to me. Look at the celebration here with the new champion. Oh my. Well, that just I mean, after, after everything. Right, I, Matt, I understand that. I think if I were you, I'd maybe try to get some clarification. Hey, wait a minute now, come on. To all of the managers in the Chicago region, you've been warned. Hold it now. 